So I initially started cooking when I was 15. I thought it would be an easy way to make money. I thought you're cooking someone's dinner, it can't be that hard. I've since learned it's a lot more difficult than I first thought, but I love it. It's the creative side of being a chef. There's not that many industries where you're only ever limited by your own imagination. And if you make mistakes, just don't serve them to the customers. Keep them for the chefs. I'm Mark Greenaway, chef patron of Grazing by Mark Greenaway, here at the Waldorf Astoria Caledonia in Edinburgh. Grazing's a restaurant that's literally took me 25 years to conceive. It's all about the produce, it's all about the ingredients, it's all about the service that you get from the team. We've deliberately sort of constructed the menu in such a way that it can be as simple as you want it to be, or it can be as extravagant as, as you want it to be. I think after dining at Grazing, we want people to go away with that sort of sense of they've just eaten something that they maybe couldn't produce at home. You know, we want people to, to come in and feel just as special on a Tuesday night as they do on a Saturday night. And they want to go away just feeling that sense of, you know, enjoyment, I suppose. The biggest inspiration we get as a chef is by being busy, because it means that you know, the people that are coming to dine, what you and your team have created. And I think that's the sort of biggest accolade any chef can ever have. Sometimes you can easily forget why you're doing it, and especially as a younger chef. Whereas when you get to sort of, you know, senior chef party, sous chef, head chef, something sort of clicks and you start thinking, well, actually, you know, these people are here because of what we're creating. So that makes everything worthwhile.